Hey everybody, what's up? It's Cooking with Timothy, and today I will be making a meal called Keto Brussels Sprouts and Pork Recipe. It's an easy skillet meal, so I will be showing you what you have to do. So, come with me and we will pick up what we got to get at the grocery store. But until then, I will be talking to all of you. Alright people, they are getting what I need for dinner. Gotta get some parsley. And now I will see you in the meat area. Oh my god, I gotta pick up lemon. And get two. Now I will see you in the meat area. Alright people, we've got Tyson's ground pork. Now gotta go to seasoning and get what I gotta get there. We'll see you in the seasoning area. Alright, now gotta get some red pepper flakes. That's some red pe pepper flakes. And got to get one more thing. And I am done. And I'll see you in that area. Alright, got to grab you. And got to grab some avocado oil. Alright everybody. Got everything. And I will talk to you when I get this dinner going. But until then, see ya. Hey everybody, what's up? It's me, cooking with Timothy, and I'm gonna get my dinner going here. First off, I've gotta put some Brussels sprouts in here. I'm forgetting.
Brady. Got that taken care of. And I'll come back and show you what you do next. All right, now I'm going to put this fork in here. Gotta smash this up. Come back and show you what you do next. Oh. 
Alright, now I'm going to be adding the sprouts, those sprouts I did. I got to mix that in there. Let you, I'll show you what you have to do next. Alright, now I'm going to be adding some salt here. And pepper. And we'll be adding. Lemon juice. Uh, two table tablespoons of this coconut amnus. And one ta tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Stir that around in there. Let that cook for a bit, and I'll let you know how it is. Hey, everybody. 
Well, my keto, Brussels sprouts and pork recipe is done. Uh, called Easy Skillet Meal. I'm going to let you guys know how she is. Not bad. Pretty good. Now see, there's a meal that y'all can try. For uh, you and your family. Say, where would I rate this? From zero to ten? Hmm. I gotta give it about a eight and a half. That's how good it is. I'll be back, people. Alright, I'm back. I had to get me some milk. Well, this is almond milk. I know almond milk is a lot different. Got some funky taste, but hey, I like it.
Well, I tell you, this is, I like this. Hope all of you have been enjoying my cooking videos. I just wish I could draw more people to come to my cooking videos and watch them. You know, that's, that's you know, I, I wasn't trying to complain in my last video about stuff like that, but, you know, it just saddens me. I'm not drawing good views. You know, let me go back. Back in 2021, 20, when I was up in the hospital, I mean, I got a lot of views on that video. A lot of views on that video. But, for these cooking videos, I just ain't drawing the views like I should. I, I just do not understand it. I'm just lost and confused. And just trying to mind baffle. Why, why doesn't anybody want to watch me do cooking videos here? Aren't they into cooking videos? I'm trying to teach them something easy, something healthy. And I know that I used to get jumped on for having eaten bad stuff. And now I'm eating good stuff. And now nobody doesn't want to watch. <coughs> <coughs> Where, when I used to do, like, reviews on food, I used to draw better. You know, food's food, people. I'm still having food. Something better than what I used to eat. And stuff like that. But, you know, just can't get nobody to watch. I, I just scratch them. My head. <laughs> I don't know, a lot of people have left YouTube for some unknown reason and and jumped over there to that other platform. I'm not going to say the name of it, but it's just sad. Very, very sad. I just can't get the views on YouTube anymore. I don't know if it's a YouTube problem. They're not getting me out there. <laughs> or nobody's watching anymore. Maybe I need to start <laughs> Tyson on Reddit. Whenever they have a... a Thing the post your videos on cooking. And I tell you, I had a whole bunch of people that used that did come over from Reddit once. I don't know. If I still got any Reddit people over here, do I? If you're from the Reddit. Time, let me know, man. And from the bottom of your heart, people, you got to speak up, you know. That that's what I want to hear is I want to hear you all speak up. State your mind. And uh, do you enjoy my cooking videos? I got to know, man.
You know, you are my subscribers. I've got to know. Do you enjoy my cooking videos? I know some of you do, and but I need to know from the rest. And what kind of contact do you all want to see? You know, you got to let me know. I, I know Bigfoot Jr. said he wants to see me do metal detecting, but I can't do that during the winter time. <laughs> but yeah, you know, you got to let me know what other kind of content do you want to see. And I'll try to bring it to you. But you got to speak up, people. Please speak up to the ones that are not watching all the time or just sit out there and watch, but don't say a thing. And you got to speak up. Please speak up. Well, everybody, I hope all of you enjoyed this video here of watching me make another meal. And if you did, can you go thumbs up on it? Hit that thumbs up button. When you do that, it would bring people here to my channel so they can check me out. Also, if you're new and you came along this video, hey, can you hit the subscribe button down below and subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos here I got. I got plenty, so feel free to check them out. Also, hit that notification bell whenever I upload, you will be notified about it. But until the, my next video, they call me Cooking with Timothy, and this cooking video is over. Have a good one, everybody. Take care, and thanks for watching.